I'm Lois from Connect to Clean Rooms. Welcome to our tutorial video where I will be showing you how to take particle counts using this Particles Plus particle counter and I'll be showing you some tips on best techniques. First, we need to get the particle counter in the right position. It should be positioned at working plane so you are getting accurate readings where the process is taking place. We're using a tripod to keep the height consistent. In a unidirectional clean room, we will position the particle counter to be per perpendicular facing into the air flow. In this non-unidirectional clean room, it is accepted that particle, particle counts can be taken at an angle. Avoid positioning it directly under the, filter, the fan filter unit airflow as you would get unrealistically clean counts. The report will record the average of all locations, but to pass, all locations need to be under the upper limit for the class. Now it's in position, I'll show you how to use volumes to determine sample sizes, which is a clever feature of these units. This is a class 7 clean room, so if we go into reports and select class 7 with a 5 micron and a 0.5 micron particle size, we get a minimum sample value of 0.06826. If we go into sample setup, we can enter that volume and the parcel counter will then determine the sample size we need to take. You can see this is now set the sample size to 2 minutes and 25 seconds. These parcel counters have a sample rate of 2.8 litres per minute, so that sample time will give us the volume we need. For a straightforward validation, you can use the auto advance feature. Simply select auto advance in the recipes. Go to the home screen and you will see it starting at location 1. In order to not influence the counts you can set a delay in settings sample setup. This will give you time to move away from the counter before the sampling starts. And now we'll start the sample. Now this count is finished, it will automatically move to location 2 and ask if you'd like to start sampling again. Once you press yes, sampling will begin. You should also consider where you stand during counts. Be careful not to stand in between the airflow and the particle counter as you would obstruct airflow and influence the counts. You are able to add annotations to sample records, which is most frequently used in cases where you haven't got a clear indication of where you've taken the count. For example, if you have a facility with multiple rooms and each starts at location 1, you might want to use the annotation to note the room reference. This will then be exported with the data. To add an, to add an annotation, view the data record, go to the little pencil, and add an annotation, for example, clean room 2. If you put an annotation of EX, then it shows it has to exclude the data from the report. You are only allowed one exclusion per report, or it will produce a fail to protect the integrity of the test. You can see the current temperature and humidity readings on the home screen. If you have the probe attached when you are taking the reading, you will also get a reading attached to the sample record. When you run the report, it will also give you an average of all the locations sampled. To set the particle count up for continuous monitoring, go to sample setup and enter zero for the samples. 
you're all set now. Thanks very much for watching. Look out for our next video.